welcome to your August 2021 love reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. All right. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every single Aquarius out there. It's not possible. We are all living different lives. So, if it doesn't resonate, make sure you check out your other signs, specifically your Moon and Venus, as this is a love reading. If it does resonate, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I love all of your stories. All right, here we go. First card out. Nice. King of Cups. Good shit. Ooh, crossed by the devil. What is up, Aquarius? Nine of Swords. Eight of Coins. The Magician. The Magician has come out in everybody's reading for August so far. <clears throat> in one position or another, one deck or another, it's been in everybody's. Seven of Cups. The Sun. That one has been coming out a lot as well. The Chariot, wow, Aquarius, look at this reading so far. This is great. Page of Coins <laughs> and the Five of Wands. <laughs> Why? Why though, Aquarius? All right, let me just rearrange these a little bit so you guys can see them all. These cards are enormous, so it's going to be really hard for me to fit them all in your screen, but I will do my best. Okay. There we go. All right, so you guys are coming in here as the King of Cups, right? It's being emotionally mature, emotionally available, a grown up emotional energy, right? Loving, compassionate, devoted, loyal, all that good stuff. But it's crossed by the devil here, so you might just have some significant feelings for a Capricorn, or um, there's, there's some kind of obsession here. <coughs> goodness, let me not show. Could be just feeling like really bound to someone. It, and it can be, it doesn't have to be anything crazy terrible. It can just be like really uh, lusty. But we shall see. What is this devil energy happening here for Aquarius? <clears throat> what is this devil energy happening for Aquarius? Um, it can also just be fear, but with you being King of Cups, I don't know why you would be afraid of feelings. You're not. So, what is this? What is this devil energy for Aquarius? I think if there's something, you know, toxic happening, I think with being in that King of Cups, it's just a reminder to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're practicing self-love, you know what I mean? Self-care, be compassionate with yourself if you are going through something here. The Queen of Cups reversed. All right, so I think that you could be dealing with someone or have someone in your midst that is not at your level emotionally. This is emotional manipulation, emotional immaturity, unavailability, um, you know, significant emotional issues with another person here, not you, all right? It's really clear. Your King of Cups, their Queen of Cups reversed, and it's toxic. So I would definitely watch out for some emotional manipulation from someone else. Again, not you. <laughs> this is not your energy. It, it's someone else's. Um, if you are single and not dealing with anyone, actually, if you're single and not dealing with anyone, you should check out my singles readings as well. I do those separate. Um, this can go either way. But if you are single, not dealing with anyone, there is someone in your midst that is a potential for you that is not emotionally well. So be mindful, okay? And it could be that, you know, they've got some kind of addiction. It doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol. It can be like, you know, some people are like addicted to sex, love, like the idea of love, it can be that as well. So just be mindful, okay? In your foundation, you've got the nine of swords here, Gemini, anxiety, depression, stress. I This is that person. 
again, this isn't you unless that is the state that this other person is putting you in. I, like I said, you're dealing with somebody here that has significant emotional issues, like going through some kind of like an emotional breakdown or something. Legit. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I, I know it's like, it's not funny, but whatever. I don't really care. I really don't. I've dealt with a lot of people in my life that act fucking psycho in relationships and I really don't have the patience for it. So that's what this person seems like to me. And if they're putting you in that place where you're up all night, stressed the fuck out because of them, cut them off. So unhealthy. All right, let's get one on this Nine of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Reaper. Somebody is not wanting to commit here because they're not in a good headspace. If that's you not wanting to commit to this person because they're not in a good headspace, that's smart. <laughs> It's smart, Aquarius. I definitely don't recommend it. All right, let's get another one here. Death, Scorpio. Um, uh, this could be a Scorpio. I, I myself am a Scorpio, and I'm not trying to trash talk other Scorpios, but if we are not in a good headspace, holy hell, we're absolutely toxic. <laughs> Maybe like one of the most toxic actually. So just be mindful, but you do have this ending here. Can be an ending of a commitment. It can be that you are separating yourself from somebody because they're just not at your level emotionally and it sends them into this whole ridiculous breakdown mode. That's not your problem, Aquarius, it's not. It, it's up to them to deal with that. We all have our shit that we have to deal with, okay? So you definitely have this ending here happening <clears throat> Let's get another one on that death energy. Knight of Cups reverse. This is like uh, with the Page of Pentacles reverse and Knight of Cups reverse, somebody can be like withdrawing their, their emotions, taking their feelings out of this would be you, um, protecting your emotional energy here. It can also be that, you, you know, you found out that somebody wasn't genuine. And it might not even be that they were intentionally not meaning what they say as far as their emotions. It's just they're in such a bad place that they can't possibly offer anything to anyone else. Legit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you can't pour from an empty cup. And this person is, is empty. Okay, recent past, the Eight of Coins, Virgo Energy. This is putting in the work into putting the work into a situation, right? I mean, yeah, there probably was a lot of work put into this at one point, but there's also repeated patterns. It's like you keep doing the same thing and nothing ever changes. So now it's time to think about ending it or ending it. <laughs> for real, for real. Anyway. Present though, you've got the magician. So whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you want to have in your love life, you are in full on manifestation mode. You can have that. You just have to do it. You have all the tools that you need to get where you want to be. All right. What is this magician? What is it that you are manifesting currently? page of cups a new love offer yeah there's some there's something new coming in for you here i honestly just leave all this shit behind again i don't mean to sound not like compassionate towards whatever this person's going through but we all have our shit to deal with this is not yours to deal with it's theirs all right um you've got something new coming in it's a new love offer cancer scorpio pisces energy doesn't have to be a water sign but it is like a genuine emotion coming in. I was not ready, but that was the Nine of Cups. So let's see if it wants to come out again. Clarify this Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups for Aquarius? What is this Page of Cups for Aquarius? What is it? Ooh, the Queen of Coins. All right. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You might be... Um, having a, an earth sign 
come and offer you some kind of real emotion here. So the Page of Cups, new communication, right? It's genuine. It's not going to be like somebody professing their love to you <laughs> because it's new. Um, but it is genuine. It is genuine, like wanting to get to know you, wanting to get to this Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles energy, which is that stable commitment. All right. Um, this person is dependable, reliable, grounded, which is not like this other person that you were previously dealing with or are currently. This person actually is healthy and stable and secure. All right, let's get another one on this person. <clears throat> Judgment. Oh, boy. You know that can be a reconciliation. So if it's the same person here, I hope that they got themselves some help before they try to reconcile. Um, so that energy is here as well. If you want it, whatever, up to you. But this is also about like something coming up to be reevaluated that you thought was dead, done, dead, whatever. Um, it's making a final decision on something. It might be deciding that you want a commitment with this person here and that's it. That's it. There's, you're not going to deal with any, any other person. That's it. This is the one. Um, it's also trusting yourself and your own judgment, all right? You manifested this this person here, trust it, okay? Now in your immediate future, you've got the Seven of Cups, Scorpio. Um, if you are single, you've got countless options coming in for you. All the possibilities, basically whatever you would want. Like I said with the Magician, whatever it is that you want, you can get it. You just got to work on it, manifest it. Um, this can also be like some confusion. So if you have a new person here, if you have somebody wanting to reconcile, it's going to cause some confusion, obviously. Um, it's cool. It happens. You'll get there. What is this Seven of Cups all about for Aquarius? The Three of Pentacles. Oh. You might have a coworker interested in you fantasizing about you. Um, either way, this is building with someone. It's teamwork. It's collaboration. So you've got something coming in here with someone that actually wants to build with you. And you're going you're gonna to be confused. There's going to be kind of like... Uh, lack of clarity here with this person but they do want to build with you um like they want to be your actual partner let's get another one the four of wands exactly 11 11 soulmate shit um aries okay this is they are wanting to build a stable foundation with you. This is actually my marriage card moving in together. All right. It's a stable foundation. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's one of my favorite cards, especially in love readings. So that is their goal. That's what they want to do with you. So this confusion, it's not going to stick around for very long. Once you make the decision and actually trust yourself that, Hey, I manifested this. This is okay. Like this, I did this. I brought this to myself, right? Because I deserve it. Um, you're going to be just fine. And coming in here, you are in this sun energy. So that's what I mean. Like any potential confusion that you might have in the near future, it's going to clear up so fast because you're in this sun energy. This is ultimate happiness. This is illumination. This is everything being out in the open. It's all out there, ultimate clarity. So this is not going to stick around very long. Really, I think what it is, you just have to trust yourself and trust that, you know, you did do this. You did manifest this. You are that powerful. It can happen and it did happen. All right. Trust it, guys. All right. Let's get one on the sun. What is this sun energy for Aquarius? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, the Two of Cups. Oh my gosh, Aquarius. I could stop the reading right here. This is phenomenal. Compared to what you were previously dealing with here or might still be, this is freaking phenomenal. More soulmate energy. You guys mirror each other, right? Um, this is always, like this energy here is, it always reminds me of like, um, like a past life kind of energy. I mean, it's not like a past life card. It's just the energy that I feel when, when I see the card. Like you see the way they're looking at each other. It's like they recognize each other. That's what it's like to me. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. <sighs> ah, all right. Anyway, in your environment, you've got the chariot cancer energy. Um, this is somebody wanting to move forward with you in an enormous way. Like they want to move in with you. They want to come to you. If they're at a distance, they want to come get you <laughs> kind of energy. All right. It's victory. It's success. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. Like this reading compared to the way that it started out and what you were dealing with, this is, oh my gosh. And the two of wands. All right, well, it's you're at a crossroads. Someone else is here. It's pick your path energy, all right? You've got two directions you could go here. Someone wants to come for you, like right now. It's up to you what you want to do with it, but that's their intention. Okay, your hopes and fears, the page of coins. You have the page of coins reversed in your foundation. So yeah, it, it is gonna be a little scary, actual commitment here. Um, do you wanna actually commit to this person because that's what they want? Um, are you ready to take it to the next level if you're already committed because that's what they want? So yeah, it's gonna be scary because you dealt with some shit, but it's what you want too. So it's really just getting past that fear, guys, really. Now, your outcome is the Five of Wands here. This is some drama, it's some competition and jealousy. So it might be that, you know, you are gonna be doing so well, there's bound to be people that are gonna be mad because people suck. People get mad when other people are happy. It's just the way it is and it's disgusting, but whatever. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. This could be like an like an internal battle as well. Like, what do you want to do with this? Um, also, when we are in situations that are a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, like this past person, we kind of it's kind of weird when we get in something that isn't a lot of drama. So it might be like kind of like a habit to kind of like look for drama where there isn't any. Not that we want it. But it's like, well, there has to be something wrong. It can't just be this good, right? So watch out for that kind of energy as well. What is this Five of Wands all about for Aquarius? The Seven of Pentacles. If this is a coworker interested in you, there's, there's going to be some drama at work over it. Up to you what you want to do here. Um, but ultimately this is investing in the connection. It is working towards, um, stability, commitment, you know, let's get another one. The two of cups. Yep. That's where we're going to end it. You've got the two of cups here twice. Look at this. It's amazing. So ultimately, despite the drama, despite the competition, the jealousy, the people being mad at you for being happy, you're going to go for it because you can't not with how amazing this connection is. You're going to have to just trust it because you're going to, you're not going to be able to not trust it. It's going to be that good and that uh, equally matched for you. You know what I mean? You've got the two of cups here twice. That's soulmate energy. And I don't, that we have countless soulmates. I don't mean like you have to be with this person for forever if you don't want to, um, but you could be. That's definitely their intention. This is beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. And I have to say, if you are somebody who is into numbers, which I am like a psycho about numbers, you've got two, two, two right here like this. Triple twos. All right.
All right, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I love you guys. Take care.